wonderful great saint, Saint Francis Xavier. He died in 1552 and he was one of the first followers of Saint Ignatius of Loyola, the Jesuit, the founder of Jesuits. He preached in India and in Japan and was on his way to China when he died. Hoy es la fiesta de un santo muy grande, San Francisco Javier. Él siguió San Ignacio de Loyola con los jesuitas. Él predicó en India y Japón y estaba en el camino a China cuando murió en 1552. He baptized thousands of people. Imagine that thousand, they say a hundred, over a hundred thousand people he baptized. And when he died, his body never decomposed. You can look on the internet and see his body that is incorrupt. El bautizó más que cien mil personas. Y él, su cuerpo nunca descompuso después de su muerte. Today, we have very few missionaries because the false teaching that everybody saved, no matter what you do, if you believe in you're a good Buddhist, you're a good Muslim, you're a good Hindu, you're a good Protestant, you're a good anything, get saved. That's a very false lie. Jesus says, go out and preach my gospel to the whole world. If they believe, they will be saved. If they do not believe in Jesus Christ and his words, they are condemned. That means condemned, damned to hell. Well, you can say, I don't agree with Jesus. He's wrong. He was old-fashioned. Get with it, Jesus. Everybody's saved. Everybody's good. Everything's fine. And that's why we have hardly any missionaries. Hardly anyone who is going out and trying to convert other people. Here, in China, in Africa, Mexico, in all over the world. But the Protestants send missionaries all over and are converting people to Protestantism all over. But we count this. No, everybody's good. No. Jesus says that they have to believe in him. They have to be baptized. It's very serious. In el mundo de hoy, todos los católicos creen que todos son salvados. No importa si eres hindú, budista, musulmán, protestante, que sea. Todos somos salvados. Por eso no hay misioneros como San Francisco Javier. Él creyó el Evangelio cuando Jesús dice, vete a todo el mundo, bautiza, y si creen en el nombre de Jesús, son salvados. Y en sus palabras. Si no, Jesús dice, están condenados. ¿A dónde? Al infierno. So, por eso no hay misioneros. Hay los protestantes, los mormones, los testigos son muy buenos misioneros anda tocando la puerta anda todo el mundo convirtiendo mucho en los católicos no Hay, hubo miles de misioneros católicos cuando yo era joven yo leí de los marinos se llaman marino misioneros y hubo un periódico pequeño y todos los niños encantaban este libro chiquito porque era, uh, era los martes y, y todo, ah, oh, yo quiero ser misionero, yo quiero morir por Jesucristo, pero ya no más. Es como es algo antiguo, algo que no es bueno. No, nosotros tenemos que usar nuestra vida para compartir las buenas noticias de Jesucristo. Porque la realidad es que hay gente no están felices en sus vidas. Cuando uno es apartado del Santísimo, no vive a gusto. 
todos que no son católicos no viven a gusto. So, por amor a los demás, tenemos que compartir lo bueno que Jesús está haciendo por nosotros mismos. Pero primero también estudiando la palabra de Dios. The message of Jesus Christ that we receive when we study the Bible and share with others is good news. It's something people need. We think everybody's fine without Jesus Christ and the Blessed Sacrament, but they're not. They need the good news of Jesus Christ. So we need to make an effort to study the Bible and share it. Study our Catholic faith and share it. So let us ask Saint Francis and Xavier. He was, you know, born in a castle. He gave up the best life possible, royal in a castle, and went far away and died far from his family's wealth, honor, <coughs> died in an unknown country. But look at all the good he did. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti.